Happy ass song, 1953. Established 1953. Oh, okay. Everyone's coming now. Damn, this game is glitchy as hell, dude. Ladies, Hackett's Quarry Peace Summer Camp See entrance. Hackett's <gasps> yeah, Quarry forever. There she is. Gosh, so fucking sexy. You know how many okay. hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, don't get over reflect you never know. Let's go reflective. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. Okay, right. dude, come on. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> She's fucking so sassy. She I love song. it. Damn! <laughs> Straight forward, okay? Okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person! Yes, I am. Okay. <clears throat> Anything for mommy. Jake, bags, focus. Oh, oh, oh okay, oh, my, 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 my bad. <laughs> God! I, got, I just gotta talk to her, you know? Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Okay, 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 okay. okay. God almighty. All right, all right, all right, let's focus, let's focus. Wait, but where, where, where's the bags? I wonder if I could go down here. Oh, who's that? Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. Damn, that dude's anti-social as shit. All right, what else do we got? <clears throat> Uh, can we look at the characters? Dylan, uh, Camping Lodge, Built to Center. Okay, read that. Dylan, Emma, Jacob, Caitlin, Nick, and Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Oh, there's the, the car from the day. Uh, the pro. Oh, what's over there? What does he have to say? doesn't kill you will make you stronger not in the mood sign listen to the song dun, dun. go in Hunting can uh canceled this year due to increased deer mortality. <clears throat> uh 
Uh, hunting notice. Uh, chapter one, Lodge parking lot. A notice that indicates the, the local deer population has decreased in recent years. Hunting season has been suspended until numbers start to rise again. Mm. Okay, I didn't check the left side. What do we have over here? What is this? Chips? Oh my god! Fuck you, you spider! <laughs> Squash! Eat it! Oh my god! Da -da. Da -da. Such a peaceful song. Dun, dun, dun. I would definitely listen to the, just that on repeat for hours. Oh, when I'm trying to sleep, it's so calming. I love it. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing at all. Such a peaceful world. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there was a murder. Well, you don't know. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. Oh, brother. I, it's, it's, I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan, please. Sorry, bro. Oh, hell no. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right, since it said that we need to look for secrets, let's see. None of this popped up when I was looking for it. I left, left, I went right, nothing popped up. So, uh, camp plaque. Chapter one, Lodge parking lot. Haggard's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and still going strong today, nearly seven years on. Okay, pass. Laura Max, five dollars. The video nasty. Wait, they're behind a the jail cell. Love at first fright. Uh, journey through all twists and turns of young love and discovery, just how much a relationship can endure. Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in a storm shelter. Okay. What do we got? Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Just like that, we're in. Oh, skill. <sighs> Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. What? <clears throat> That's like my favorite things. Wait, this oh, it's coming outside. <clears throat> horror, uh, double skill. Horror is the uh, definitely my favorite genre. Like uh, last October uh, when I first started streaming, uh, that's when it started. Uh, October, are nearly the same age as uh, the same time as October, and horror games. I don't know. I I find them very fun. It, it just depends what type of horror game because the the choice based horror games or i mean uh 
the horror games where you have to look for stuff and then you have to bring stuff back that is the type of horror games i fucking hate or i mean the also the puzzle ones like <sighs> come on now i hate it's just too complicated you know like i'd rather play a horror game as like a, a regular joe and just shit starts happening like that's the ultimate horror game that i love to play and that I have been looking for, like this, for example. I assume. Oh. Well, I'm, I need to uh, unlock it to. Oh, is that the turret? Is that the. Like a uh, uh, House of Ashes and Meta Medallion uh, totem? Right there, right there, right there. No? <clears throat> What's a can touch it? Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Oh, 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 oh. Now we know. Now we know to not go in there. That door is heavy as hell. Okay, boxes. Uh, I assume this is like a, a cooler. Okay, <clears throat> that's good to know. Temperance. Tem temperance to be balanced to consume in moderation or indulge in ex uh, excess temperance. Take it or leave it, but remember sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay, <clears throat> what else do we have? Why is your chairs just posted there? Oh, here's the this stuff. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, yeah. huh? Yep. Yeah. Damn. Get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, you're not telling She's me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh! Yeah, let's, let's play playful. Come oh, on now. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? I knew it. Sexy? Come on now, let's, oh, let's, let's sexy, be playful. Huh? Hot as that camp, by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in... Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls Whoa, in man. 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby... Okay. Nick and then Mr. H and Okay, are you almost Damn. finished? Please. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's everyone. Damn. No, 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 no. Okay, so okay. she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't Okay. Her whole thing is like how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah blah blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah 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 blah. And she was just like Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Hold on, hold on. Defeated, maybe I like it, brave, it's just a fling. Ah, let's go with brave. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? 
Let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, Jesus. MPS, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the ballpark? That's kind of morbid. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, that was Ryan and me. Okay. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, well, seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this Kaylin is isn't buying it? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. Oh, is she like a master plan? Is she the serial killer? Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh. Steel rotor arm, brake fuel line. What, what are these choices? <clears throat> so if I break it, there's no repairing it. We're stranded out here. If I steal it, then I could put it back. But at the same time, I'll... Oh, shit. I thought... I thought time was running out. <laughs> if I steal it, then I could just put it back. But then it will cause a huge argument. Then people will find me and... Don't notice that I I took it. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> Wait, please, please. Don't tell me I What's fucked up, it man? up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix okay. you as soon as back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Thank God. Oh, huh. shit. Not a peep. Either got zero signal, everybody's already forgotten I exist. Nah. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Fuck! Day. I fucked up the, the phone! You know what I mean? I thought it was gonna go right. Because he Why was jumping. Oh my god. Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Come on now. We chillin' in our camp Call Corey She's sketching Looks lovely Who is she? Da -da -da, da -da -da. She seems like 
She's a hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. I gotta wait for it. That's the thing. I gotta wait for it. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have yeah. to do here. Oh my! Shape our destiny. <laughs> then by shape our destiny, I mean Jesus, shape dude. our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. What? Uh, leave bags break in, leave bags break in, leave bags break in. If we break in, then. Fuck! If we break in, then this place will be open. Let's just leave bags. Fuck it, yeah, I don't want to risk serious? it. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Rocket oh. and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, Come sorry. on, give no. us a second choice. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Fuck! Um, uh, Wait, that okay, might be well, beneficial. Well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Because we could have lost our shit if we go somewhere. Emma thinks you're overreacting. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I can't go in there. Oh, I can. Dude, look at this quality. I know it's a little uh, jittery at times, but like I said, this game uh, or this game barely came out, so you know, there's definitely going to be issues with it. We're all counselors. The kids left already. The kids left already, so today's we're going home already. So we just skipped the uh, entirety of uh, the whole cabin experience. What's this? Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. Jesus, that's annoying. Camp cabins, a recording of the Hackett's Quarry Camp song from years gone by. Technology may have moved on, but the song remains unchanged. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Is there something in this corner? No. Oh, there's a broken fence. There's a broken fence. Okay, so now we know that there's a broken... The fence is broken here. Okay, awesome. Hopefully I remember <laughs> to when it, it does become useful. What else do we have? Who is that? Is that Ryan? Is that Ryan? Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, yeah, awesome. Burbank, uh, an informational. Though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder of the Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Dun, 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 dun. What do we have? Evidence. Oh, past relationships. What? Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. Oh, empty vowel. An empty vowel with an unpleasant order. Don't smell it. Ugh. Oh Ugh. no. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Fuck! Am I gonna turn now? Oh my god. So fucking dumb. Jacob plus Emma forever. Summer. Ah, shit. That could have been something that I shouldn't. That 
me exploring would have caused an issue. Cause notice how it played that that one song, or uh, how it got kind of disturbing. Fuck. I'm curious. So who left the that shit there? That's the interesting part. Who left it there? <clears throat> so far, the only villain we have is the cop, but at the same time, he could be helping us. Cause he did tell, uh, he did say to not go there. Maybe they were trying to make sure everything was clear before everyone came. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Cause did did the cop kill the the female? I don't remember if he did. What do we have over here? There we go. What's this? Jesus. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. What was that? Hey! You stop ah, that! Ah. Oh, shit. <clears throat> They're trying to break the communication shit. I assume that's communication shit. Hmm. If I, if I didn't shoot the bird, would the bird have accomplished it breaking it? We got a chainsaw, a mini saw. Tools, okay. Okay, <clears throat> I think we checked out everything here, so let's go to the car. Oh, that's a golf car. I thought that was a whole ass car. Okay. Who's that? Oh, that girl again. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? Mm. I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but nope. louder. Nope. You should try it sometime. You never nope. know who you might impress. Nope. Nah. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh oh. There we go. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so. Jinkies? If this I is Velma? Put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet then why'd you quit it summer fling 
we're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Oh, so this is the girl yeah, sure. with the uh, the other dude. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. I fuck with Abby. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Just to make it entertaining, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Sarcastic. How could they live without you? Supportive. I believe you. Hmm. How could they live without you? Supportive. I believe you. Supportive is kind of too giddy good. Sarcastic is like more fun for me. I believe you. Or they could take it. You know, I'm just supportive. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> Come on, I sister. I got you. Don't you trip. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well, now I'm really regretting it. Oh, no. You love me. <laughs> oh, man. Relax. Pump the brakes, man. My favorite man. spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. If I yeah. have the choice, I'm definitely gonna bring it up. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. Oh. I kind of I kind of like her energy. Like, uh, this girl, uh, Abigail, she seems like the very shy type, and she's, like, trying to push her. I kind of fuck with that. I definitely Everyone, fuck with that. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. I fuck with her, too. I don't know these type of people like in a, a, a live or die situation she might you know you know might go the wrong way don't worry Jacob I got you I got a full tank of gas so oh fuck me <laughs> <laughs> oh idiot <laughs> It, Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Come on now. Yeah! Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Why didn't you break in, sir? Because bears can be a problem. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. That's true. <laughs> The way hey, has anyone seen Ryan? The way I'm thinking about it is something is going to happen that's going to make us get stuck there. And I feel like we're going to lose all the belongings in the car. So 
the stuff that are in that cabin we could use. That's my thought process right now, so hopefully it pays well, off. He's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. I forgot with that. What's it about? Mind your own business, friendly. Is it about me? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? I'm kind of feeling like this dude, uh, he might be playing for that team. I don't know. That, that's just what, uh, that's the vibes I'm getting. So maybe we'll see. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who? Okay. What's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hagger I, I fuck with her energy. I uh, love that I energy. Think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire. Oh, we back. saw a fire. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers. Oh, that will ha that's what happened. Figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Mm, okay. Or, kill you, or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Okay, so I'm game plan now. is I'm not going to separate them. Better than your supporters. You should. You should have seen the kids. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Oh, this Get guy. Those in gear. I remember this guy. I liked him. He's a good actor. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. For a second, I thought for a second, I thought that I thought that was the cop. I was about to say, God damn. Pack it, but our, our bags. Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and What's this about what, ghost stories? If there's anyone that would know something about this place, is that dude? Since he's, I, he's, uh, I assume the team leader. leader? The so tag see. of Hackett's quarry. I was just, <sighs> for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mister H? Well, yes, I do. But you know. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding and knowing. No Come on, we're not on Brett. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Hopefully that wasn't a, a major thing, because if we bitched about it, so, then uh, we could have got I'm it. I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, or uh, he could have been annoyed with us. fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just... <laughs> No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. 
Hello. Listen to the podcast here. He's shop. I don't know which one is better. I feel like listening to podcast is much more better because if we listen to the podcast, then we get to know more about the story here. But if we eavesdrop, then we get to know what's going on in there. But at the same time, we don't know what's happening. I'm going to listen to the podcast. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. Oh, so I feel like seeing the smoke is just in their heads instead of it being an actual thing. That could be the situation. And I feel like if we eavesdrop. It could have been like a weather report saying nothing's happening, or I don't know. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Concerned, is everything okay? You're frustrated. This is important to me. Ah. <clears throat> uh... I just go what I would say. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are going to like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. Oh, yeah. here it comes. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. It was just a little front and different. I didn't realize. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he was be apologetic. Like, Sorry, what? I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Oh, he's not a uh, he's not involved like that? Seriously, Chris, what's going on? He's just looking for the kid. Come on get now. You guys safely out of dodge before the sun goes down. Inquis inquisitive why understanding i get it why it's getting dark ryan and it's not safe to drive in the dark and safety is the first step towards fun hmm he knows just give me a minute he knows he knows he definitely knows where in the good goddamn are they Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? 
He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Skedaddle. Hot to, hot to. This is pretty cool so far. I'm kind of getting immersed with it. Make just, sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. I'm telling you, this quality, dude. So worth upgrading my GPU. Definitely Wait, worth how it. How did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have damn, to ship them big as well. Hell no, First no. Thing. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. <sighs> Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Ah, God. Yeah, he definitely knows. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we oh, did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! I hope he d he's not the villain. He seems like a cool dude. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop! Let me think. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. I feel like Ryan's getting this. If I was him, I'd be like, I would be sketched out. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Be sketched out because there's okay. a podcast and what well, he knows already. I'll be back first thing in the morning and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Let's start seriously. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Is he just ditching us? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. I kind of like this perspective. I like this perspective that we're in the we're uh, I assume he's the main character, Ryan is the main character, and uh, since I mean he's a loner, he doesn't really socialize with the other counselors. I fuck with that. I I kind of fuck with that. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
So, what was that about? He, uh, it's gonna be tough to convince them. to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. What are you talking about, insistent? We follow Chris's instructions. I want to know what they're talking about just so I'm in the loop. But if I go that way, then I feel like it's just going to automatically automatically throw me to uh, to go to comply with them. We fo I'm going to just. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. This guy and the jock right, with the. Seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, the hat okay, behind okay. him. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. It's gonna be tough to convince them. And the girl on the right oh, side. Oh, dude! Fuck yes, I'm in. Nick, you're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. So we have two alphas. I go where my people need me. Yeah. And one okay. follower. Yeah. What do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? That is true. Apprehensive. He did seem freaked out. Supportive. He was just concerned for us. Yeah, let's, let's I go. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on. One last night. Yeah. Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 no. Dude, dude. That's all. Okay. Okay. The way I'm feeling about this is I want to say yes because I feel like that would be more entertaining and more fun for me. But to have my group survive, I, uh, you know, Good. All right, we the get group it. is getting you know, bored of you, Ryan. Uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Someone's got to give a shit, dismissive, whatever, man. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Come on, send your ground, bro. You know what? Send your ground, <laughs> brother. I don't care what you guys do. Oh, I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me. Ryan, oh. come on, man. Wait. Oh? Is he... All right. Is he All fucking right. with Ryan like that? Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And, uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. <laughs> that that really felt like a Disney fucking song. What was that? Oh. Target fell. Get ready to cross Matt Tomahawk. Get ready to cross Matt Tomahawk. What the fuck? That good old moonshine. Oh, so is that something that will make them invisible to whatever's out there? What's the sign? Nut hunting. Hunting season. Ah, <sighs> just like that. Oh my God. 
Oh, I was there's some stuff. You'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes. With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. See more. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Oh. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Hmm. So that's kind of a trick. It kind of transitioned very quickly. I assume that's an ammo box and it transitioned to someone getting shot. But it kind of looked like a so you get you get it, you get the ammo box and it explodes right in your face. <laughs> 